Welcome back everyone to another episode here on my Minecraft single player survival world where it's been a while since we've done our last episode. We got this little cute kitten which I need a name of. I, I need a name for this little little cutie. I also got another one over in that direction over there. And um, what we did in the last episode is we just did some very small things. We set up this new build which is what we're most likely going to be doing in this episode and uh, we did some trees, some small trees and uh, we let the villagers out down underneath this terraforming and uh, there's quite a lot of villagers down there now and uh, they're just wondering about it. actually my iron farms stopped so I don't know if that's something to do with the villagers or if it's just you know just like a, just a, a problem with the farm itself but anyway, we're going to get rid of those villagers from there and we're going to put them into their own trading hall later on. Uh, at the end of this episode, we'll probably just put them into a little, like, a certain area so that they will just stop roaming about and uh, we can easily transport them down into what is going to be a villager trading area slash storage area. Anyway, so today we're going to be working on this build. Also, before I'd like to start, you know, we, we top down this map in the library the other episode at the beginning of the other episode which is this map only covers a little bit of this Tudor town so far so I'd like to get another map of this area over here so you go down here and there you go we've come a white dot so let's just go over here and uh let's open our map up and there we go we've got the cliff face you can see if you see where my little white dot is because yeah, we've got the cliff base, which is quite nice. We've got the wheat field over here. We've got a little lake. Oh wow, this looks pretty nice, I have to say. You can even see the back of costly coffee and so on. You can also have the llamas here, which you have to find a proper place for them. Anyway, I'm going to pop this map down inside Hyphen's bookstore. And uh, we'll, we'll get straight on to talking about how we're going to do this building over there. So if we come over here, we have our build that we planned out in the end of the last episode where we might tweak this a little bit so you can get this little, you know, main door entry area over here a little bit more or, you know, a bit further that way. But I quite like the, the layout of this build. It's quite a small build. I like how it looks. And um, it's not going over the edge of this cliff, but it looks pretty nice. So I have to say, uh, I think I'm going to stick with this for now. Let's also get rid of the scaffolding here. This is just to show a temporary layout of uh, something that's going to go outside over here. Now, I was thinking for this build, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but uh, I was thinking that we should do like a flower shop or like a plant shop. But I was thinking we should do something maybe different to these buildings. You see, we have sandstone for these buildings. Uh, we might do sandstone, who knows, maybe if I build this with the other materials I'm thinking about. And it doesn't look too good then we'll go back into the sandstone but here's what i'm thinking so if you grab the blocks that i'm thinking about i've got the sandstone here just in case we're going to either use diorite here now diorite is probably my one of my favorite blocks in the game there's only a couple blocks which i prefer more than it i like actually granite more than diorite if i don't know if people like uh granite a lot but i prefer granite over diorite but despite even though i like Granite over diorite. Even though that uh, that I prefer gra granite, I've said that for like the fiftieth time. Um, diorite is much more widely used for builds. Like you probably the chances of you seeing a diorite build over a granite build is way higher. So anyway, despite me not liking diorite as much as granite, I still it's still a pretty good block, and I quite like I quite like it a lot. So we're either gonna use diorite. And we're also going to use a mixture, if we're going to use that, we're going to also use white terracotta. Actually, no, that doesn't look too good. Maybe grey terracotta. Like, like grey terracotta. Yeah, that doesn't look great either. Anyway, we could use white terracotta as a separate thing for the wall. White terracotta, you know, mix in some grey terracotta. Like grey terracotta. And we'll of course have cobble coming across the bottom. Or something like that and we'll get a little bit more of the white terracotta up here so something like that for this build you know looks pretty nice 
not too bad, yeah? For this, for the diorite, we can use, you know, white concrete to accompany it. Of course, I haven't turned it into the actual concrete right now, it's powder. But we can turn some of it into concrete. Looks pretty nice. Blends in. I think the white concrete, maybe let's check it across, like, with the background of the sandstone. So if you use the white concrete, that looks, it looks like it kind of fits in with there. But however, the white terracotta doesn't fit in as much. So you can use the white terracotta in a different section, but I think what we're going to go with is the white concrete and the diorite. I think that's quite a, a nice, you know, mix. So let's break these walls. So uh, I think we should go with that. Of course, we're going to use the spruce logs as the wooden, you know, beams uh, on, on the side of the buildings. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, I mean like over here, if you look at the armory, you have wooden beam here, wooden beam here, we're going to use a spruce, of course. And um, I was thinking for the roof, we shouldn't be using terracotta for once. I was thinking maybe on this part of the build, we can use terracotta. But I was thinking over here, because I'm not too good with one block diagonals, I was thinking we should use just plain dark oak slabs. And I was thinking that would probably look very nice. So anyway, uh, how about we get straight into building time lapse? And uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Because now I'm going to tell you what I did, and um, we're also going to detail this build. Also, um, I did some building in between the times. I actually, I had advice from a friend who told me this build over here was too, you know, square-like. So I made it more circular, uh, which which is he recommended for me to do. So let's uh, add in a door over here, the entrance to what is most likely going to be the flower shop. And I quite like this build. Uh, before I said I would do this all in like concrete or white white concrete powder and like the white style. However, this build just did not look very nice in that kind of style. However, this one does look decently. Like looks decent, you know. I mean, the sandstone would probably also look good on this build. Also, maybe I should change this to, you know. Like these kind of materials. Anyway, so we'll uh, fix that up. But uh, the sandstone will probably look good on this build as well. But I thought this also works, so why not just put it there? Also, yeah, let's just, just patch this up. And then we get our little block there. Okay, and um, I added a few things like these staircases and these top doors to make these pillars look you know, supported. And uh, I don't think we should add windows on this bottom part here. Because I think this looks good as it is, and sometimes adding windows or things to a certain build makes it look worse, despite most of the time making it look better. Also, I just like to quickly do something. Since this is gonna be a flower shop, you know, we're gonna have like flowers here, flower pots and stuff. I was thinking we should also get some wood because you know you have like natural things in a shop. So I wanna just quickly see if we get. If you have a campfire, can you place a campfire on top of the campfire? 
No, you cannot. Like, you can, but it will not, you know, stack, which is really not great. So I was thinking we could make, like, you know, um, look like we had, like, firewood out here or something. That would have looked pretty nice if we could have done that. Uh, I guess we can't really do that that well. So we're just going to have to place them on top of other wood. So just go like that. Go like that. And uh, it looks pretty good. Let's place, let's place one more over here. I mean, that looks pretty nice. Pile of, pile of wood. That doesn't look too bad. I just say that it looks pretty fine. Okay, so if we come over here, we're going to have the door, which is going to be fitting into here. One door for here. And one door for where is what we've already put the door in. For what, whoever's going to live in here, which is probably going to be the shopkeeper. We're also going to have a an entrance for you here. It's just the plan for the build. Of course, we need to break that. So we got some spare concrete powder just all over the place. So we have to tidy up this interior. Then, of course, we've got to do the interiors, which we'll most likely do in the next episode. And then the ap episode after that, we'll probably go to the end. Anyway, so uh, I was thinking, how about we do a bit of details now in this episode? A little bit of not the interior in this of this place. But a few details, like we do the outside, we get, you know, I don't think there'll be a chimney on this place, but we do, you know, decorate the outside, you know, make it look pretty nice, pretty fancy. Also, let's go, like, uh, we have to extend this fence over here, so uh, that'll look pretty good. Actually, we can, you can kind of make a natural fence over here, you can put, like, some crates over here or something, and it'll look pretty good. But, yeah, I was thinking, since it's going to be nature, yeah, we're going to store probably most of our flowers or bushes and stuff over here so I was thinking let's make a little outside area for the end to finish off this episode and maybe you know decorate this wall over here with crates and uh, I I know that a lot of youtubers use minecraft youtubers use um, note blocks to look like a crate so I'm going to try and uh, test that out and see if it looks nice because I want to see if we can use that in this kind of stuff anyway so I'll grab some flower pots and some materials so we can uh, do a few details and then we can finish off this episode and then uh, we can hopefully see each other later on in the week for another one. Also, I just noticed that my helmet's gone. I think I broke it. Anyway, I'll, grab my, I'll quickly grab the stuff. So guys, I've got a few materials here. You can see I've got some note blocks, got some chests, I've got some barrels, I've got some woods. Um, and I think we should uh, start detailing this place. I also need to grab um, couple of things from here let's see let's grab some spruce fence gates some spruce fences and um, I think this is pretty good what we have here to start detailing our build so um, let's quickly get straight into it so I think like I was saying crates are note blocks are good examples of crates and I think and this does look pretty nice note blocks like a pile of note blocks chest on there, chest over here, and that looks like, you know, a pile of uh, crates and so on. We can also fit in some barrels over here. Um, put in a barrel here. Actually, barrels don't suit it up, well, I don't think. I mean, they suit it a little bit, but barrels and chests, um, chests work with note blocks and barrels, just note blocks just work with chests though, I think. So, uh, let's do a couple of things like that. And uh, also, I would like to put in some lanterns here. I don't have any on me right now. I can quickly grab some. I'll quickly add those to those myself, though, I think. So, um, I'll put some lanterns here. I'll also add some like little signposts on here as well. Uh, I think this is good for the side. I'll also put some bushes here. Got to grab some leaves. And uh, we've got the, the wood that we added here. Now, um, let's add, like, some flower pots over here. i got, like, 51 flower pots, so that's quite a lot. Also, we need to place a crafting table down. So, um, I'm going to quickly turn some of these uh, logs into planks. Now, let's grab some drop doors, because I think that'll be a good way to make the racks on which flower pots will sit on. So, if you just go like this, I think like that's pretty good. And um, go 
we have a, a few racks on the outside let's just make it like that and uh, that's pretty good we need to find a way to put these to connect though so if I do let's grab a fence gate how about we do it like this okay so we grab another row of these up here and then we continue this rack all the way there it's kind of like a, a rack where we're going to have our flower pots to sit on okay but to connect these we have uh, you know maybe a fence gate somewhere maybe like there or we can have a fence there you know I wish there was like a fence uh, a top door which can go in the middle of two blocks so you can place something underneath it and above it you can't really have that um, let's see we have a chain yeah we have a chain I mean that fence gate also works okay that that's probably pretty good I'd say actually actually if we can, we can do this instead you know that wouldn't work I know why okay uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep it as is you know, we can probably block it off with like a, a barrel or something. Yeah, actually, let's just do this. Let's put a barrel in like here or something. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And um, I'll just quickly pick that up. Let's grab a few flower pots. One, two. You can't really place any on here, right? Because that's the top, the top side of the top door. Yeah, I can't really place much up there. So we'll place a few flower pots over there. Um, we'll grab unique flowers and put them in there. Because uh, we want to e make each one, you know, unique. We'll store some flowers in here. Also, I'd like to create um, kind of like a custom barrel. So we go like this. We go like that. That's kind of like a barrel, right? And uh, I'd like to put, you know, some, you know, something that's natural in there. Because we have that store is going to be like a flower store, right? We'll also have like you know, flowers. We're going to have bushes. We're going to have other things which will you'll usually find in a flower store so bushes is one of them um you know maybe you'll have maybe like vegetables which you can grow and there's one block which looks like a, a box of apples i don't know if i have it on me you can either use nether nether rack kind of looks like meat though um uh, you can use nether warp block actually would look kind of good I, I remember there's a few blocks which i remember which look like uh apples or box of apples nether warp block I mean, that also kind of looks like meat. Actually, that does look like meat a lot, but uh, we can kind of pretend like it's crushed apples or something. So uh, let's put that back here. And uh, let's put away some of our other blocks. We don't want to be full of just junk. All right, that's pretty good. And um, let's see if there's anything else we need. Well, wh what do we need again before that I was saying? Uh, we need some leaves, right? So let's put also let's put away our fishing rod. Uh, let's grab some leaves over here and that's looking pretty good uh, I think that's that's basically all we need uh, let's go up here and I'll show you what I mean by we can have just like a natural box of apples also we should probably go to sleep anyway so here we go uh, let's get this nether warp block put it in here yeah that looks pretty nice I'd say that looks quite nice you should also probably you know start making path blocks here also we should do not really have do we really not have any dirt on us that's quite unfortunate i'll just replace that okay let's quickly uh, go to sleep over here our usual place also we should try and get all the materials we need right now so that we won't have to do it later and uh, i can hopefully get you through this build process i think i'm, I'm pretty sure though this is all we need let's just grab some iron bars just in case um, let's get some oak signs. Maybe let's get uh, a spruce, a spruce sign. Uh, let's see, is that? I think that's pretty good. I don't think we really need much else. Oh, we can get some flowers. Um, let's see. Let's grab some unique flowers. I have an actual special chest for flowers. Um, you know, I have a couple chests outside near the cliff, which I haven't actually, you know, used. Uh, which I haven't actually uh, not uh, not used. I mean, I haven't actually like moved away from those those chests there. Um, they're usually just like terraforming blocks. I'm gonna move them away from the far right currently. So uh, let's quickly go down. Also, I wish you could plant 
um, you know, like wheat or, you know, certain uh, blocks which you can't currently in the game, uh, planting, uh, what you call them, flower pots. And I wish there's some blocks for you that you could. Okay, let's get a. Uh, see what's a nice looking block. Let's get a fern as well and put it in the, there. So let's grab all of these blocks now. We should put a few away into into some flower pots. Okay, so let's um go plant some ferns in the area as well as well as put it in a flower pot. We should place some natural ones going here, and there, one there. And there and there. Now let's place one in there. And we're gonna grab. Let's say we're gonna probably have. If you really, if you're going to a crown flowers like flower shop, you'd have some flower pots on the floor, maybe some you know unattended, you know plants. And um, actually, you know what's a good example? Uh, where is it? There's a really good flower, which is a good example of a, a plant which isn't you know, cared about that well, and that's the lily of the valley. It looks like, you know, because it's drooping a bit, even though that's the natural, you know, structure of this flower, it looks like it's drooping a little bit, so it looks like it's not been watered, so you can have that kind of aesthetic over here. I uh, would also have, um, let's just put a flower pot over here, maybe we put, so we should probably put these ferns away, maybe let's put a, uh, Bamboo stick there. You know what? Actually, that doesn't look too great. Let's maybe we should start moving on to the inside. So uh, we'll do the floor in a separate episode, but we'll start creating the racks now, so that we can fit them, fit them in later. Also, I just remembered what we needed. We need some lanterns, but we can just put that in later. Anyway, uh, let's start creating some racks. So we're gonna do the same as we did before. So we're gonna get these spruce top doors. I'm gonna end off with a barrel, of course. Actually, we could put a few barrels in here. We could put one here, and uh, one in the corner. And then we can put maybe another one, and another one like that. I kind of like that kind of idea. Maybe you can instead put something like this here. Yeah, so it looks like this rack is actually connected to the wall. Also, let's quickly make some more trap doors here. So this will look kind of nice. There we go. So more trapdoors. Pretty, pretty nice. So we create, we you know extend this rack up here. So this is pretty nice looking. You know, not too, not too shabby. Uh, let's let's line this with flower pots. So we put flower pots here, and then let's see if you can fit some over here. And we'll we'll put a lantern up there. And, uh, okay, so this, these barrels can be for, you know, leaves, so we'll put, you know, for, let's say some oak leaves in here, and some spruce leaves in here, so we'll put some spruce leaves in here, also we should probably finish off the other side before we move on to the inside, so let's quickly come over here, and, uh, put in some bushes, now this looks pretty nice, uh, some bushes over there, yep, looks pretty good, this wall without windows actually looks quite nice. I'd have to say. Yeah, and uh, let's quickly top this off with a few chests like that. Yeah. Or a chest either like that or a chest like that. Because I don't think with. I think we should just put it like this. Now, yeah, that looks pretty nice. So we can fill those in with these blocks later. Uh, this side, I think, can be quite plain. Doesn't require much. You know, much, much over here we can actually just put some, you know, some leaf blocks here. So that it looks like it's starting to get overgrown. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. You know, all right. So that looks pretty good. Let's see. Do we can we use anything with chains here? Always try to maximize the amount of blocks you can use with when you're detailing. Otherwise, you know, the build could look very plain. Now that we're adding all these different unique blocks. Looks way way better. Like uh, I was when I was building this, I was contemplating where I don't have. Oh, there's my scaffolding. Uh, I was contemplating whether I should leave this roof plain without these trapdoors. And then I realized, you know, we do. I had some trapdoors on me. And you should always try to experiment with the blocks you have on hand 
and even if you don't have uh, the block that you would like to require on hand, um, which you would think would really look nice in that situation, try and look for it. If not, you can always try and substitute that block because you don't always it's always a perfect block. However, it's best that you always try to obtain that block. Otherwise, if you don't uh, take you know your time to get that block and make the build look amazing, then you know there might not ever be a time where you can get that block. And you know you just you should try and make your builds look great. Otherwise, uh, they might never look great. Okay. Anyway, so let's put some bamboo in there. I like how that looks. We'll also grab a few other flowers. I'll put them in there. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's also break that block here. And uh, let's put in here. I want to put in like a kind of wooden beam here. I need to get this. Uh, here we go. I need to get this wooden beam kind of straight, not like that. Uh, let's let's just go like this. Actually, let's go like this. Okay. So one, two, three, four. That looks pretty good. Do you have any? I don't have any of those. Okay. Anyway, so we can just strip this. We'll put an an spruce door in there. So let's actually make a spruce door. Also, let's put a crafting table in there. We're gonna get a spruce door, so we need spruce. There we go. Spruce door. Three doors, there we go. Uh, looks pretty good. Yep, that looks pretty nice. Kind of like that. We should also put maybe, you know, maybe I'll put a sign here. We say, let's call this, let's, let's name this store after one of my subscribers. Um, so one of my first subscribers, which uh, wasn't a, uh, a friend, is someone called Black Bear. So let's call this let's call this Bears Bears Flower Shop Store. Bears Flower Store. There we go. I kind of like that name. It suits a flower store name. Um, let's also get some a few more racks. So let's maybe put. Okay, let's put in a little table design over here. You know, that's a little small table. We can have barrel on this table. Maybe a chest as well. Alright, so that looks pretty nice. These can be some leaves, so we can label this on the leaves or something. You can also uh, put some item frames on these later. Uh, let's see. We of course we're gonna swap out the floor later. Like I said, uh, actually we could probably do that now. Let's let's quickly grab some some oak planks. We'll just use oak for the floor here. Uh, let's grab our shovel. One, two, three, four. We'll break these blocks. Also, we need to light up this place, which I'll also do in my own time. Because you probably won't want to see me light up for a simple build. Um, there's also certain techniques. We'll just do this side of the build, by the way. We'll, this is going to be walled off. So we'll just go like this. There we go. So we'll just do this side. Yeah, uh, I don't think you guys would want to see me just light up a simple build. Uh, other, other than just, you know, seeing lantern placement. Or maybe even lantern placement would be boring for you guys. Um, anyway, so let's just quickly go like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's put in a campfire block here. And then do that. That looks pretty good. And then we've got a little bit more space over here. So since this wall is going to be probably blocked off, I think we should not even have a door here. I think it should just be blocked off completely. Um, let's put in... Okay, so I like the idea of having, you have these kind of, uh, sometimes, I don't know what you call them, but outside of houses, you have these, like, uh, design, which is kind of like the design of these oak top doors. They're like a little um, wall with holes in them where plants can go through. I'd like to have that design in the inside of here, but it's going to be kind of empty. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So it's just going to be like, a decoration on what you could use within your your build so that looks kind of nice 
will also do will make this roof much nicer but I'll make, probably make that without like later on when I'm by myself by myself not in this video of course uh, like not currently and then uh, let's just quickly finish this off so let's put in let's see what's a full block here which one of these is a full block is that full block yeah that's a full block so let's put in so let's let's quickly sleep here let's go to our little bench design this is a pretty good bench design I've seen many people use this bench design so it's not actually mine uh, many people have used it I'm not too sure if they use like you know same wood type or so or use signs on the side instead of you know trap doors or blocks in the back but it's just you know using a bed as a as a bench I've seen many people use that so uh, I thought I'd give it a try and it looks pretty nice so I have to give credit to whoever need that anyway so let's go like that we'll put some lanterns here and where later on I can attach some lanterns I have chains on here and where I can attach some lanterns and maybe attach some you know uh, let's see here if we can get some let's see if we can get some maybe leaves you can maybe use some leaves and attach them to here that looks pretty nice then uh, let's put some put some scaffolding over here I'll put some flower pots on here and I think this looks pretty good Let's put also one more rack here, like proper design rack. All right, let's put it like this, and we'll get a barrel. Do I have any more barrels? I do not have any more barrels. That is unfortunate, but we can probably make some. Here we go. Let's go like this. Let's just make two more. One, two, one, two. There we go. Two more barrels. You go like this, and you go like this. Okay, let's destroy this one. This little scaffolding here. We go like that. We add. We add, do we not have any more fences? Seriously. Oh, anyway, we can just use iron bars. Oh, actually, you know what? This is what I mean. Uh, when I was saying before, grab the item that you require on hand. Otherwise, it does not go well. Oh, there we go. We actually do have spruce fences. Yeah, there we go. We. It's pretty nice. Um, let's add some more. Uh, drop doors. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. Uh, you should grab the item that you acquire always on hand because if you don't put it, it might not look that nice. So yeah, this is what I was saying. So now that we got these, this added in, it looks pretty, pretty nice. So let's go like this. Let's grab a sign, put it there. Looks like you know connection and put it there. You're gonna get some wood. It's gonna look like what? Oh, we can't actually add that there. I wish you could add blocks underneath there so it looks more tight and cramped. Maybe we, we put a block there and then we put that there. Okay, so this is a kind of like woods and you know, leaves kind of section. Then we, I don't think we can really add anything up here, but we can try and connect. Yeah, so then we can have something up there. We can have actually. Actually, let's get rid of this, that little spruce leaf, and let's actually add it on this side, because it's way more, you know, kind of, like, it'll be cornered in, so it'll look much nicer. So let's kind of, I think, actually, you know what, that looks good by itself. And we'll also add vines onto these, these leaves, so that they'll look like they're growing, you know, growing down. Let's put those leaves back, and, uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think it's a little long now that I added this kind of section with that detailing. But uh, some of you would like to know maybe how I build. So here we go. We actually this is probably our first build that uh, we've actually detailed. You know the inside on camera. I've also detailed. Um, you know this build over here. Uh, but it was on camera. We have the desk. We've got the bookshelves. We've actually got all the bookshelves in place now. We just need to line the top of this place with barrels, like you see that I'm doing there. We've got to put a chandelier in. We've got to put the, whatever you call it, the enchanting table there. I don't use enchanting tables much. I use villagers, but we, we should still have one. Also, we I've added this custom drawer design. I kind of like it. This is my own design. I'm not too sure if anyone else copied it, but or anyone else has it. But it's the back of a barrel, so you get this kind of nice wooden texture. Then you have item frames at the trap door. Now the trapdoor actually extrudes out of the item frame, so it looks like a little knob 
or little handle. So that's pretty nice. And then to block off the look of the item frame, I use a sign. And the sign also actually looks like the drawer has a little lip, so you can see that it's actually like it looks like an actual functional drawer. Uh, and it looks pretty nice. We've also got a map in here. Also, I'm not too sure if I showed you guys this, but we've got a new map. And uh, yeah, you can see the new updated structure in the bottom of the corner. If we if we go over here for the really, uh, you can see the new structure over there. Looks pretty nice, I have to say. And uh, our, our, our village is turning out pretty nice. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Also, that's a pretty serious stare. Bye-bye. Okay,